Today we are going to be starting part one of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Civil War questline. But instead of the crappy 20 versus 20 battles they had in the original Skyrim, the battles are going to be hundreds of Stormcloaks versus hundreds of Imperials and it will be a proper siege battle war like you've never experienced. We're also going to be using the Skyrim Civil War mod overhaul to make this questline a little bit more exciting for you guys to watch. I already did a vote on if we should join the Stormcloaks or the Empire. 24,000 of you voted and Stormcloaks came out on top by 10%. So that means I'm going to, no, I'm not going to ignore you. We're going to fight for the Stormcloaks. But first, just a quick history lesson in Skyrim's lore, so you understand why we are fighting. Back in the fourth era, the Empire of Tamriel lost the Great War to the Aldmeri Dominion. They were then forced to sign the White Gold Concordant, an agreement which in short ensured the Empire's survival, but this document heavily favoured the victors of the battle, the elven supremacist government, the Thalmer. For example, worshipping the god Talus was now outlawed, the blades were completely disbanded, and the Thalmer gained the rights to move throughout Skyrim. So as you can imagine, Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks, believes the Empire is weak and crumbling after having lost against the Aldmeri Dominion and is also fighting for Skyrim's freedom and rights to worship the god Talos. So Ulfric led a force to retake the Reach from the Forsworn and capture Markath. He was successful, however, he refused to surrender the city to the Imperial Legion until they agreed to allow Talos worship once again. They accepted, breaking the original agreement with the Aldmeri Dominion. Consequentially, the Dominion forced Ulfric to be arrested and established themselves as a presence in Skyrim to oversee the enforcement ban of Talos worship which had, up until now, largely been ignored anyway. This is where we really start the game though. Arrested on a carriage with Ulfric Stormcloak, about to be executed. I'm not going to give you my reasoning, but I think the ultimate canon ending for this questline, so when we get to the Elder Scrolls VI, is going to be that the Imperial Legion will win the Civil War. Because if they don't, when the Aldermary Dominion inevitably attack again, and all the sources suggest it's only a matter of time before they do, having the Empire and province of Skyrim in civil war would only lead to their annihilation. So for the greater good of man, if the Imperial Legion does not win the civil war, it would be catastrophic for the men of Tamriel. So to join the Stormcloaks and start off the civil war questline, we must come here on the map to Winterhold where the Palace of the Kings is located. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what's going on? An Imperial, one Imperial is attacking the city. Oh my goodness, he's actually really cranky. Imperial Archer, oh okay, well it looks like he got sniped in the back. Oh my god, there's actually Imperials attacking the city. There's a whole little war going on here. Oh my god, they got destroyed by the Stormcloak officer. There's even some up there still battling. So as you can see, our Civil War overhaul mod adds loads of NPCs having small skirmishes between Stormcloaks and Imperials all over Skyrim. So it's going to make the Civil War questline seem a lot more immersive. Oh no, don't tell me about the Dawn Guard, please. Okay, let's enter the city of Windhelm. And we're going to actually see one of the issues I have with Ulfric Stormcloak as we go inside here. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city. Horses. Oh, you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. Do you have any idea how dull We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Greyskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious! Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? 
No, I don't hate your people. Yes, I do hate Dark Elves. We could probably roleplay here and join the Stormcloak factions, but I am not a nasty person, so I don't hate you. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking, unworthy of one such as you. Looks like those Nords are giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Good dismay. Why would anyone think you're a spy anyway? Imagine if she actually was and like you saw her in the Imperial Barracks in Solitude later on in the quest line. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. And therein lies the problem with Ulfric Stormcloak. Safe travels. He is encouraging this kind of racist behavior towards the other factions that are not Nords, which I do not like. I think the Empire is about unifying everyone, whereas Ulfric is about Skyrim is for the Nords, which sounds very noble and kind of like he's the underdog fighting for Skyrim's freedom on the cover of it. But really, if you read between the lines, there's actually a lot of hatred here in Skyrim, um, as you can see just here. So let's head over towards the palace. If you guys are wondering, by the way, there are a lot of Dark Elves here in Windtown because the uh, border to Morrowind is just over here. Um, so you can get to Morrowind this way. Um, and that is why there's still a lot of people, I think, fleeing from the Red Mountain. Mm -hmm. Let's enter through the front gates to the palace. It just looks so epic. If you guys want to download my ENB, by the way, uh, you can find my whole mod list linked in the description. Now, as soon as we enter the palace, we're going to overhear a conversation between Ulfric and his right-hand man, one of these Stormcloak officers. So we're going to hear them out and see what they actually say before engaging them in the dialogue. Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How I'm not much of a strategist. Lord Ulfric listens you to my counsel. You think I need to send Borgruff a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support <coughs> of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Let's have a chat with Ulfric ourselves then and see if he remembers I us. I spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire Only the says. foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. Instead, I came to fight for the Empire. <laughs> okay, that's actually a bug in the mod. That should obviously say Stormcloaks. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Talos created the Empire. You'd think they'd show him more respect. It's not even like Tamriel even want to ban Talos worship. It's more the fact that they lost the war and they had to agree to some of the terms that the Thalmor set out in their 
white gold concordant contract. The way I see it, Ulfric's fighting a holy war. Let's speak to Gamma. Hmm. Helgen, huh? Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Ah, but first, tell me, why is a cat want to fight for Skyrim? You only take nods, then? You mistake me. I'm not saying no, just wondering about your intentions. We're not looking for sellswords. The Stormcloaks need dedicated men and women who are devoted to the cause and willing to die for it. Skyrim is home to more than just Nords, though. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? I want to fight the Empire. I'll bleed for the chance to do so. Uh, can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. That's why I'm here. I want to join. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. I can handle anything you throw at me. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. What is Serpentstone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. It's actually quite hard if you're a low level playing on a hard difficulty, to be honest. Does every recruit have to do this? Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. I'm not sure about this. Alright. <laughs> When you kill that Ice Wraith, then we'll talk about you becoming a Stormcloak. Fine. Then let them die with their false keys. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. Yeah, they're reforming the, the dark are still God. weighing things in their hearts. Something. What's in the old of Skyrim to wager? Might consider joining up. They have them. families to think of. To prove myself worthy of becoming a Stormcloak, Galmar Stonefist has sent me to kill an Ice Wraith on Serpent Stone Isle. Which I believe is in the north and the Sea of Ghosts, as you guys can see just here. In the middle of nowhere at the Serpent Stone, through the icy depths of the water. If you are using Frostfall, this quest is an absolute nightmare because you literally can't go into the water without dying of hypothermia. <laughs> Get Rex, son. Oh my god, how did I miss that? My Skyrim archery skills are rusty, guys. Terrible. There we go, beautiful. Get Rex, son. Oh yes, beautiful. Yes. Well, I've killed some wolves. I mean, this is this is good progress, Lydia. So you can see Serpentine Island up there, where the standing stones are. Very mysterious Nordic features. It's actually very foggy. Goodness me, Lydia, you savage. Just absolutely murdering the hawker's wife over here. Look, there's another one. There's its husband. Watch out, Lydia. I'll save you. Your ex up. <laughs> Yeet. Alright, we're going to have to have a bit of a swim here to get to the island. Come on, Lydia, let's go. I actually think I can see an ice wraith up there on the aisle. Maybe I can just shoot it down from here. But I suppose they'll want the teeth to prove that I did it anyway. I can see it. There it is. It's so hard to hit these things. Oh my god, I actually hit it. Okay, well, it's dead. <laughs> I'm going to go and get its teeth. I need proof. Otherwise, I feel like I didn't do the job properly. To be honest, I'm still kind of surprised that worked at all. But here we are on Ice Wraith Island. I can't actually see any Ice Wraiths. I believe there should be two here, though. There usually are a couple. 
Just a very mysterious island, really, isn't it? I kind of wanted to take you guys up here anyway, because you get a fantastic view of Skyrim, but it's really cloudy anyway. You can see the College of Windsorhold, the statue of Milady Dawnstar. Let's get the ice pile. There we go. And some ice rave teeth, which is actually good because it gives us frost resistance. So let's fast travel back to the Palace of Kings now and talk to our boy Ulfric and see if he has a task for us now we have proven ourselves. Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot. We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason then. The crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. No, but this one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crown. It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found it? When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. It will be there. You see, you're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. Oh, savage. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Yes. Are you saying you sent me out there to die exactly? Not at all. That was as much a test of your abilities as it was your resolve. I wasn't sure your heart was in it, but you've proven me wrong, and I respect that. Now, if we're done being sentimental, it's time for you to take the oath. The oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. Isn't it enough just to fight the Imperials? You can stick a sword through an Imperial any day you want, but that doesn't make you a Stormcloak. We're not just fighting Imperials. We're fighting to restore Skyrim to her glory and give her the king she deserves. I'm ready to take the oath. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Are we like married now? Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Hear that, Lydia? We're, we're part of the Stormcloaks now. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Did you come up with this little cheerleader chant all by yourself, Galma? I'm very impressed. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Skyrim for the Nords! Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. And we have the Stormcloak armor added to our inventory. 
and we've started the quest, The Jagged Crown. Watch yourself out there. Let's equip our armor first. Now, there is actually an option after and during this quest that allows you to join the Imperials. You can actually become a traitor. Uh, I'll talk about that more in a moment. First, let's put on our Stormcloak armor. There you go. I've lost a lot of armor now, but uh, at least I look like a Stormcloak. Pretty cool. Get Lydia, are you impressed? With what you need. Welcome to the fight. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters Stop something. trying to sell me In a DLC. Mm. Might consider joining up What's myself. the mission then? Yeah, what are your reasons for joining the war? Reasons? Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? It's the damn Outlanders and Empire that need the reasons. I mean, that doesn't make any sense because he just sent me on a quest to kill an ice wraith because he wasn't sure my reasoning of protecting my homeland was good enough. Hmm. Hasn't Skyrim always been part of the Empire, though? Not this Empire. The world's better without it. Certainly Skyrim is. I fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. I bled and spilled blood for the Empire. And for what? the Empire to bend its knee before those evil elf bastards? Signing a treaty meant to kill the heart of the Empire itself? To deny Talos? No. I will have no part of any such Empire. And I will gladly gut anyone who says otherwise. Enough talk. There's much to do. I do agree with his reasoning there, though. But it was for the greater good. So, tell me, what is the aim of this war? First, we'll kick the Thalmor and their bloody Imperial puppets out of the country. Then, we will rebuild Skyrim into the land she once was. When we are done with that, we will take our army to the Dominion and show those pointy-eared bastards. Not every man is fit to be their slave. Alright, what's the mission? I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? No. Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon, but if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. All right. What is the Jagged Crown exactly, though? Tell us more about it. There's also a little bug you can do to keep the dragged crown for yourself, which I'll show you later. Have you not heard that ancient verse? More unleashing rays of snow, of dragons from the blue brought down, birth the walking winter's woe, the high king in his jagged crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the high king always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulf exclaim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? X to doubt that it withholds the power of every king who ever wore it, though. How do you know the crown is in this dungeon, then? It's true. The location of the crown was lost with King Borgas after the Great Hunt killed him while he was off on his damned Alessian campaigns. But legend holds, his body was secretly returned to Skyrim and buried with the crown, its exact whereabouts lost in the following wars of succession. Through sources that shall remain nameless, I've tracked down what I believe to be the final resting place of King Borgas, Corvanjun. If the crown exists, it will be there. Ah. You anticipate danger here, though. Aye. The Great Hunt killed old King Borgas. Gods only know with what profane arts those elves cursed his remains. Curses notwithstanding. The tombs of kings are always full of traps to ward off grave robbers, are they not? 
But nothing a band of Stormcloaks can't handle, I assure you. Don't wait around for me. I bet I'll beat you to Corvinjune, even though you start first. We'll see about that, my friend. Come, Lydia. Jesus Christ, how, since when were you taller than me? What the hell? I actually had to remake a car because uh, I got a new computer and had to remod the game. So I think he's slightly shorter than he should be. It's meant to be, I'm six foot five, so I prefer to play uh, tall characters like me. Look at the size of this. Has this got just mead in? This is like a mead barrel. That is impressive. I am very impressed. Fighting for the Stormcloaks was the right decision, Lydia, just based on that alone. So the Nordic tomb we need to visit is located west down this river, past the lake, just over here. We need to meet Galma outside of it, so let's fast travel to the Wainan stones over here, and then we can walk over and plan our epic ambush. I'm very excited, my friends. In fact, it feels really good to play Skyrim again and enjoy it with you guys. Let's save the game here and find our Stormcloak friends. Obviously, it's snowing right now, which is absolutely perfect. We want the cover of Snowfall to mask our approach. Is this the Stormcloak warband we have here? They are looking menacing. Not as menacing as Lydia will look, though. Just a small war party. Hail, Ilfield. Hail, Galmar. What's the situation? Cold as the inside of an ice wraith. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance, staying nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? For Skyrim! Hold on, I need a minute. That's what I like to hear. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Come on, Lydia. You're a Nord. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Their spies must have found out we know about the crown, and they don't want us to have it. But they won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex-Legion, and may know men on the other side, but remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. I think the pep talk's over, I'm my friend. Getting bored. I'm getting bored. He wants to be in combat, like, immediately. Here we go, brothers. Let me lay a sneak shot down on that brother. Yeet! I missed. Don't worry, guys. I got this. How am I missing you? Oh my god, this one bandit is killing us all before we've even begun the battle. Watch out, my brother. Oh, god. oh my god, yeah. You will fall down those stairs. The red star. Get out, another bandit. Ah! Lydia, where are you? I need your help. Our Stormcloak soldiers are being killed by the bandits. I haven't even found any Imperials yet. Okay, we've defeated them all apart from this super tanky bandit leader. Oh wait, there's an Imperial Arch there. Hello there, sir. Fancy seeing you here, you Imperial spy. I'm gonna fast road die you off that cliff. Oh, I don't, it's still cool down. Here we go, get Rex up. I don't think so, mate. Ah! Calm down, sir. Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Imperial Soldier. Oh, that was Lydia. Thanks, Lydia. I appreciate that. Watch out, it's another Imperial Spy. Oh my god, he's getting absolutely destroyed by those Stormcloaks, though. I don't think there's any more Imperial Spies around. For one second, there's one up there on the hill. Don't worry, guys, I'll take care of this one. Oh, he missed, he missed. That was your one shot, my friend. Okay, you hit me that time. Oh. oh my god, yes! Haha, <laughs> you Imperial. Oh my god, he still tried to finish him off with a blow with an axe there. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh my god. I want to do that again, but sneak up in the Imperials this time and just fuss Rodar 
each one of them individually off the cliff. How do I get down from here? This is a long drop here. Oh, look at all these steel arrows. I'll take those. Why has he got wine? No wonder he died. He was drinking. How dangerous. Lydia, let's take this Nordic armor and give it to you. Because that will keep you safe. Alright, let's head down into these catacombs. This is apparently where the previous High King of Skyrim was buried. Uh, everyone's gone up the stairs there, but I want to quickly check out this area around the campfire to see if the Imperials hidden the thing. There is a master lock. I assume that's a shortcut into the entrance of the dungeon. But uh, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go with the rest of the Stormcloaks through this main entrance up here. That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperials. Let's do it. What an absolute unit. Oh, we're doing it sneaky, guys. Everyone get in sneak mode, come on. Pick a man and put him down. We attack on my signal. Oh. Time to show what you're really made of. Yes. For Skyrim. Wait, was that your signal? Okay, I killed one, so that's good. You didn't tell me what the signal was. You could have said, 3, 2, 1, bananas, and that would have been more helpful. Come on, we got him. Watch out, I'll get the general. I'll get the general. Yeet. Oh, yes, I paralyzed him. Nice one, brothers. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Take him out. For Skyrim. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Are you trying? I can't even see him, guys. I can't see him. I'm just hoping I'll hit him. Hopefully, we're killing the right guy here. Just firing arrows into the darkness. Oh, is that a Stormcloak? I think he's dead. Well done, Lydia. Good job. Greta, Engar, stay and guard the entrance. We don't want any Imperial reinforcements taking us by surprise. The rest of you lot are with me. Nice one, brother. I just thought I'd turn my EMB off so we can actually see what's going on in the darkness. I can see some more Imperial spies. A pox on the Empire! Yeah! Get wrecked, son! Don't worry, I'm crippling them all in the knees before they get up the stairs. Look at them! Nothing but disabled Imperials here. Wait, how are you getting up? Get down from there. Stop right there, criminal scum. Oh my god, look at this. Absolutely brutal. They both went for the same man. What savages. Absolute savages. I don't like the look of this. Perfect spot for an ambush. Ten to one, they're just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other way through. Oh, you sure about that? Then please, be my guest and go strolling on in there. We'll stay here and watch your back. Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little, eh? You there, unblooded. See if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. Wait, okay, so you want... Right, let's have a look if there is another way through. Maybe you can find a way through. Maybe we can just send us. Lydia down there. That would be quite funny. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a way through here. Where we can access the other side if we go to the left. Do you have any arrows, sir? Because elven arrows? Why do you have elven arrows? Oh, wait, I'm using elven arrows. That's why. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure we can just get through the uh, the roof here and be very sneaky. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is definitely a secret entrance. Very conspicuous indeed. Let's save the game here and plan the ultimate sneak assassination. Look at these guys. They're all sitting here waiting for us. Look at all these fire lanterns. We can just... No other way they could come. Now shut up or you'll blow our ambush. I don't like it. It must be the Stormcloaks. Aha! I've got you. Now I am the ambusher. Oh, beautiful. I think I hit my own Stormcloaks more than I hit that. Get wrecked, son. I can see another Imperial. 
Kill him! Kill him! Oh my god! He's hacking! He's hacking! What the hell? Bethesda! I know you let hackers in Fallout 76, but Jesus, man. Can a, can a guy hit someone with a bow? There we go. He's paralyzed now. Try hacking this Imperial scum. Even when Bethesda's on their side. Todd Howard clearly hacking from, from the Bethesda servers there. Trying to ruin my Let's Play. God oh, damn, Todd Howard. Careful, boys. There's bound to be more up ahead. Uh, I can confirm that that is probably true. What was that? For the sons of Skyrim. For the sons of Skyrim? What did it mean? Oh my god, we destroyed him! Jesus. That was brutal. This guy's already dead from the shock of it. My god. What in the nine holds is that? Draugr, ain't you ever seen one before? No, and I'm not sure I'm better off for it now, neither. Steady. A few dusty bone walkers aren't going to stop us any more than the Imperials could. We are not leaving until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. Don't let the dusty bone walkers stop us, Galda Bone Stone Fist. Bone Stone Fist. No dusty skeletons will stop me. Oh, she has run to the door. You want to wait your turn, Mrs. Stormcloak? Come on now. Oh, look. There's Imperials have died here. Trying to defeat the Draga. Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? I think it was kind of obvious. Kill him! Kill him! Oh my god, it's so brutal. I love it. I absolutely love it. Some more dead Draga. He's like a proper berserker. I've been playing a lot of this game called Mountain Blade, and you can literally play a berserker class, and it looks exactly like Galder Stonefist. It's so cool. I mean, that's pretty traditional how, like, uh, berserkers would kind of dress like that in bare fur. There is a chest on the left there, but I don't want to miss any of this. The Hall of Stories. We must be getting close now. I've never seen anything quite like that. Oh, I've heard of this. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. One thing at a time. We are here for the crown. Any of these carvings show a crown? Hmm. Looks like this is as far as the Imperials got. Even if one of these pictures tells us where the crown is, I'm betting we're going to have to find a way through that door. See what you can figure out on Blooded. I'm going to check out these carvings over here. Let me know if you find something. You're not doing anything. You're just staring at pretty pictures pretending to do something. Don't lie to me, Galda. You can see the dragon priest here and all his disciples that became the Draga. And when they mammified them. But now they came back to life. Very interesting though. Here's the um, the ebony dragon claw which we can mm. use. That looks like some kind of claw from a statue. I wonder what it's used for. The Imperials are here in force. Stick together. We can open it by putting the correct code in. Like so. Look out. That is not... Oh god! Oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to ax- I wouldn't do that again, unless you know for sure it's going to open. What was if I do it again? <laughs> He's got nothing to say this time. He's just disappointed. The Imperials are here in force. Stick together. Alright, before we open that door, I want to run back, because there's kind of like a secret treasure chest on the right here we can grab before we go ahead. One Imperial has already tried to get it. Here's the chest. Nice! Some healing potions and some ruined books. Lydia just absolutely killing herself on the trap. Let's turn it off so she doesn't die. Amulet of Zenithal. Prices are 10% better. I'll be taking that, my friend. That was actually better than what was in the chest, to be honest. It's worth more, more gold as well. Okay, now let's solve this puzzle then. So we need to have a look on the ebony claw here. As you can see, it says 
what is that? Fox, fly, and then dragon. Fox, dragon, fly, and then dragon. So let's turn all this around. Yeah, fox, dragonfly, dragon, and then if we activate it, we should open the gate. Good job. Ooh, exciting. All right, everyone, keep your guard up. Don't tell me what we'll find out here. Let's go, boys. Gonna be a dragon priest. Spoilers, because his tomb has not been unlocked in a long time. Look out, I've got a bad feeling about this. Watch out! Is that a trap? Come on, boys. Let's spread out and see what we've got. Unblooded, do what you do best. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. I like how I'm just that guy. I'm like the, the guy with the brain in the team now. Like, ah, oh, you unblooded, you you must know what to do. You've done this the last three times I've asked you. He actually relies on us now, we're helpful. A dwarven dagger and some garnet. Definitely going. Oh, that's a pressure pad. Something has happened. It's a secret passage that we've opened. Ooh, what's down here then? More secrets? Ah. Ah. A secret treasure room. Holy moly, Lydia. A lot of people miss this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you get when you watch my tutorials. I actually show you stuff, so... I mean, I guess it's a warning tutorial. Oh my god, Lydia! Why didn't you warn me, you idiot? Oh, damn it, Lydia. Jesus, that was dangerous. You should have noticed all these holes in the ground. Not very safe at all, is it? Yeah, guys, um, Bannerlord um, 2 is coming out. Mountain Blade Battle or 2 is coming out in uh, about a week and a bit. So by the time we finish this Let's Play, you can watch me play through that. Which I'd really appreciate if you do, because that would be cool. It'd be very fun, indeed. Right, let's go over here. And we can find another treasure chest. How's it going? It's going well, mate. Stop distracting me. I'm looting, okay? There we go. Now the gate's open. We've got more. Oh god! Your Rex up! Oh no! Oh no! Where'd you come from? Indeed, where did you come from? Are you from Germany or Sri Lanka? Or where do you hail from, my my Nord? My Damn old Nord. Why don't you stay dead? Yeah, you stay dead. I don't think he's dead yet, he's paralyzed. Go on, hit him again. Hit him again, go on. Yeah, you can do it, go on. Oh god. Come on, come on, you got this. I believe, I believe. Damn dustman. Why don't you stay dead? Oh dear. She's actually gonna get wrecked. Enough. Oh no 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 no, don't die! We can't have our only female stormclake soldier die. Get wrecked, son. Yeet! Oh, double teamed him. Where are you off to? Where Where are you going? Why are you running over there? Oh my god. I'm scared him off. Let's hope that's the last of them. How did you even Come know on. he was there, Golden? Let's see what's down this way. <laughs> He's got aimbot on with his two-handed axe. We've only got one Stormcloak soldier remaining. Oh my goodness, everyone else has died. Don't worry. We've got this, my friend. I have Lydia and you that can have Stormcloak Bay. Somewhere. Just keep an eye out for the Bone Walkers. The Bone Walkers. <gasps> I'm scared, Golda. I'm scared. The crowd must be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Is it not on his head? He's on the throne, isn't he? Pretty sure it is on his head. Yeah, this is it. There it is. I found it. Golda, I found it. It's here. Look. Hello. He's wearing it though. He looks very angry. Hello there. Hello. Oh. Oh, he is angry. Look at that. He's very angry. I don't think we should touch this, Olivia. Let's have a look around first. 
Oh, one second. Is that a potion and a secret chest hidden behind the throne? Thank you for the lockpicking tutorial, Skyrim. Really appreciate that. Not been playing this game for like eight years or anything. Don't mind me. Oh, there's a word wall here too. How exciting. I assume everything's going to trigger as soon as I activate this. Tell me the words. Slow time. Ah, one of my favorite shouts in the entire game. Because it relies on my unique arch build, which I can demonstrate to you in a moment. Why is he just like squatting with his axe like that anyway? You're not impressing me, Galda. I'm not impressed. Do I look impressed? I'm not. Alright, we're going to have to activate the crown, Lydia. Here we go. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, he got paralyzed. Don't worry, we'll sort out these other two Draga death lords. <laughs> oh god, they're shouting at me, Lydia. Don't worry, brother. I've got you. Wait, there's another Stormcloak? Where did he come from? There's three death lords all shouting at us. Look out, brother. Don't worry, Lydia. He's got ebony shield. I want that. Lydia. All I need is the crown, so let's just kill this one. And I'll show you guys how to how you can keep the shaggy crown on one of the coolest helmets in the game. In fact, it's one of the best helmets. It has the same armor rating as actually has the same base armor rating as a Daedric helmet. It just looks insane though, look at that. I mean, why would you not want to keep that? It's fantastic. The only thing is, is you can't upgrade it. So we're also going to take the enemy one because I can sell it. Look out, brother! He's going to shout at you. Let me show you the uh, the slow time shouts now. Dude! Now we can absolutely pelt them with arrows without taking any damage. In slow motion. We can literally walk around him seven different angles. Look at that. Headshot, get Rex up. Lydia, you need some help, mate? Don't worry, I got you. Lydia's falling up the stairs. I've literally never seen that happen before. Right in the kneecap. Look at him. Right in the crotch. Yeet, brother. Get wrecked. Kneecap shot. Don't worry, Lydia. I've got you. You won't have to fall up another staircase again. Is he still alive? Hold it. I'll let you kill one of these death lords because I'm sure you've got that. Whoa, Lydia. Jesus Christ. Where are you off to now, mate? Are you done? Get to Vindhelm with the crown as quick as you can. Tell Ulfric he owes me a drink. I love, I love it. Get to Vindhelm with it's, the crown. It's like as quick the kind of, uh, oh no, she died. That's so Tell sad. Ulfric. So did he. Oh my god, he actually looks like he's like having such a nice sleep. Bless him. Ebony war axe. God, these guys had some minty weapons. They only spawn with these weapons if you're a high enough level, by the way, guys. They don't always spawn with them. We need this ebony shield, though, for Lydia. So to quickly fill you in, I can do a full guide on this in future. But to actually keep the jagged crown for yourself, you need to have sided with Raloff if you've sided with the Stormcloaks. And then what you need to do is reverse pickpocket him, which just means you pickpocket him, and then it says you have a 0% chance to do it. But you should be able to put the crown in his inventory, even though it says you have a 0% chance. It is possible. Um, I've done it many times. And then, after you do that, save the game in case he disappears. And then go back to Ulfric and you can continue the quest line. And then later on, you can go and pickpocket Raloff again and you can take the jagged crown back from him. And if you sided with Hadvar, you can still do the same thing. You have to join the Imperial Legion as well. Okay, so that's pretty much a quick, like tutorial on how to do that but let's now leave this accursed wait why is this door closed wasn't it oh it's this one okay come Lydia we must go back to Ulfric the storm of the cloak and um see what he says nice one brother there we go activate door open door yes so that leads us back into the dungeon and if we go right we can exit the dungeon and we can find wait hello Keep a sharp eye out. Oh, you were just guarding, were you? I see. Keep a sharp eye out. Yes, keep a sharp eye out. Nothing gets past you, does it? What a beautiful sight to walk out on with all this snow and the trees. Just absolutely wonderful. Now we're going to return the crown to Ulfric's Stormcloak, but there is actually a secret option 
where you can actually, like, if you side with the Imperials or the Stormcloaks, you can actually choose to give the crown to the other faction. And you can actually change allegiance like that, which is a pretty cool little secret not many people know about, because it's kind of like a secret crest objective. Um, if you don't do it, then you'll never know about it, and it never tells you that it even exists. So it's just a pretty cool little tidbit of information I thought I'd let you guys know about. If you do for some reason want to change faction after swearing an oath to the Stormcloaks. But anyway, let's go inside the Palace of Kings. Ulfric! I come bearing a fine gift, my friend. A gift fit for a king. We should take your march. It'll be an important pressure point on the Imperials. We'd be within spitting distance of the capital. Here is the jagged crown. I believe you own Galmar drink. You can buy me one too. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Nothing I can handle. We lost a lot of good men. I hope it was worth it. Yeah, the Imperials were there ahead of us. Damn it. What were they doing there? Imperial spies are everywhere. Never forget that. I trust you gave them thrashing. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. <laughs> Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. An axe? Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. Should I say anything to him? Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruf will know my meaning. So cool, isn't it? I love that concept. Understood. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. We have completed the quest, the Jagged Crown. Look at Lydia, just looking at me so fondly. Beautiful. Guys, the next episode is going to be out tomorrow. Check out the link in the description for the playlist. And if you guys haven't already, check this out. If you guys like Stormcloaks, by the way, or even Imperials, this is actually a miniature I painted on my tabletop channel. It's uh, Raloff the Stormcloak. You can actually get the Elder Scrolls miniatures. And if you're interested, I recommend checking out my, my tabletop channel, which I'll link down below in the description. I've got tutorials on how to paint them, and you can also do a cool single-player roleplay version of Skyrim using these miniatures. And it's even got like a player versus player version, kind of like Warhammer 40,000 or Age of Sigmar, where you like battle against each other. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below in the description. But give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And let me know if you liked the episode in the comment section, guys. I really do appreciate your support on this, and I hope I can entertain you in this time of strife in the world. Fingers crossed that you are well and that your family is well too. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe and goodbye.